Item number, SCP-504. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. All seeds, plants, fruits, crossbreeds, and other products of SCP-504 are classified as SCP-504. SCP-504 seeds need no special containment other than to prevent misuse by unauthorized personnel. Grown SPC-504 plants and their fruit are to be kept in a soundproof room. Guards and researchers assigned to maturing and growing SCP-504 are to be equipped with radio-enabled masks, which insulate non-transmitted sound, and are to be instructed to avoid any attempts at humor. Description. SCP-504 is a species of tomato physically and genetically identical to that of the typically commercially grown tomato. It is recovered in Redacted, Kentucky, after a woman reported to the police that her farmer husband had been murdered by his lunch. The Foundation is currently working to identify and destroy the loose strains of SCP-504 surrounding commercial farming areas. When a poor attempt at humor is made verbally within human hearing range of SCP-504's tomatoes, they instantly accelerate to a speed of at least 100 miles per hour, approximately 180 kilometers per hour, or 45 meters per second, in the direction of the sound's source. Only mature tomatoes separated from their vines and less than 10% rotted or chemically compromised exhibit the effect once each. Tomatoes do not have to be physically intact. Through ingestion, tomatoes are usually insulated enough for sound to prevent the effects before neutralization by stomach acid. SCP-504 tomatoes seem to reach top speeds relative to the inciting attempt at humor. See experiment log. Relevant variables seem to include corniness, humor to length ratio, use of puns, and language appears irrelevant. Note. Whoever snuck SCP-504 into the cafeteria kitchen is getting terminated. Those tomato slices are like fucking shurikens. From Dr. Blast. Log of tests with SCP-504. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject. D-504-1. Spoken. Quote. Is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? End quote. Result. No change in velocity. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject. D-501-1. Spoken. Quote. What is an archaeologist? Someone whose career is in ruins. End quote. Result. Tomato clocked at 124 miles per hour. Subject suffered a broken nose. Note. It appears that SCP-504 has a certain taste in jokes. This might indicate sapience. I hope not, Dr. Blast. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject D-504-2. Spoken. Three tomatoes are walking down the street. A papa tomato, a mama tomato, and a little baby tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind. Papa tomato gets angry and goes over to baby tomato. He smushes him and says, catch up. Result. Tomato clocked at 264 miles per hour. Subject rendered unconscious. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject D-504-3. Spoken. So I was going to bed and my brother told me, Good night. Proboscis in your skin and suck your blood. Good luck on a healthy dermis. Result. Two second pause before activity. Tomato clocked at redacted. Sound barrier broken. Subject killed. Item. Three mature SCP-504 tomatoes, each from a different crossbreed. Subject D-504-4. Spoken. Quote. If you have dentures, don't use artificial sweetener because you'll get a fake cavity. End quote. Result. All three tomatoes clocked in at exactly 145 degrees. Subject injured. Two teeth dislodged. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato split into quarters. Subject, D-504-5. Spoken, quote, I tried to walk into target, but I missed. End quote. Result, all four pieces clocked in at 212 miles per hour. Subject, severely injured. Right eye destroyed by a piece of tomato. Item, one mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject, Subject, CD playing harmful if swallowed, Dane Cook, 2003. Result, 
at redacted. Tomato clocked in at 167 miles per hour. CD player destroyed. Note. It works with recordings? Damn it, didn't even have to deal with Class Ds in the first place. Dr. Blast. Item. Three mature SCP-504 tomatoes, one for each test subject. Subject. After being introduced to the following news item, Bomb blows hole in Lenin statue, the three of the following jokes were made. Test subject number one. Ooh, that's gonna leave a marks. Result. Tomato number one twitched, but did not displace from its original location. Test subject number two. BBC is just stalling the good news. Result. Tomato clocked in at 125 miles per hour, chipped tooth and hairline jaw fracture. Test subject number three. That blows. Result. Tomato clocked in at redacted. Subject was hospitalized with a massive skull fracture. Notes. I thought we just established that recordings work in the place of live subjects. I know how much you guys hate Class Ds, especially D slash 504 slash 12. Poor guy might not even recover before termination rolls around. But I'm making it clear that whoever oversaw this round of testing is getting seriously reprimanded. The same goes for whoever leaked its video logs to the staff. Dr. Blast. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject. A portable computer playing a pre-recorded engineering joke. Transcript. Quote. 2009 is going to be a complex year. We already know the real part. We still have to find the imaginary part. End quote. Result. Supersonic blast detected. Computer was completely vaporized by the tomato's kinetic energy. Sensors readings indicate an approximate speed of 3,500 kilometers per hour or 2,174 miles per hour. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject. A portable computer playing a partial audio recording of Monty Python's sketch, The Funniest Joke in the World. Transcript. In the commonly given English version. My dog has no nose. How does it smell? Terrible. End quote. Tomato explodes. Debris clocked in at 137 miles per hour. Computer heavily coated by debris. Keyboard ruined by exposure to liquid matter. All other components proved functional after cleanup. Item. One mature SCP-504 tomato. Subject. A portable computer playing text of SCP-904. Result. Data expunged. Guys, as always, make sure you go show some love to the original author. All links in the description.